idea what her name is? No. Oh, we tried several, but the only one she's reacted to so far is dinner. <laughs> Mum says I can keep her. Ooh. Only if we can't find the owner. I've tacked a postcard on the tree to say we've found her, but no one's shown any interest. Oh, apart from that tomcat at number 27. <laughs> well, I expect you'll soon find a name for her. Daddy already has. He found she'd done a mischief on his daily telegraph. <laughs> yes, well, I'm not opening the door every night and calling that out into the street. <laughs> Go and give her a nice saucer of milk. Oh, yes, you like that. Okay. There we are. There, got her. I think she understood that. Her motor's going. Oh. <laughs> well, have you done all your Christmas shopping, Mildred? Yeah, more or less. What about you? Oh, it's all going to be a bit of a rush. I'm taking the children up to spend a weekend with their granny first. Mm. Geoffrey's not going. No. Mm. But I must go. She hasn't even seen Tarquin yet. And you're not really a granny until you've had a damp lap. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, Mr Fourmile's going to be uh, on his own, you know, for a few days, well, can, is there anything I can do to help? Well, there is, actually. I've got some fish heads in the fridge. If you could pop in and put them on a saucer... Oh, he's more than welcome to eat with us. He's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mean the cat? <laughs> An otherwise sporting match was marred when a hooligan hit the Fulham goalkeeper with a toilet roll. <laughs> oh, yeah, those were the days when I still had the aim. <laughs> George, I've been thinking. If it... What's all this mess? Well, oh, I'm bringing my scrapbook up to date. Oh, here. Listen to this. It's about me. Shy hero rescues drowning boy, then disappears into crowd. About you? Well, sort of. I was one of the crowd he disappeared into. <laughs> I don't know why you bother to keep all this rubbish. Slag Lane Secondary School? Oh, yeah, we had our own magazine. They were doing this item about me getting expelled. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> oh. Masked man attacks women on common. Why are you keeping this? No, I'm keeping a bit about the best budgie competition. Oscar came forth. <laughs> of it all. Do you think so? Yeah. Oh, we can read it if you like. It's sort of the story of my life. Hmm. It's boring, George. <laughs> oh, I see. Perhaps you think I'm boring too. <laughs> and they gave us some of that blackberry jam too. Blackberry jam? Well, she was sniffing at it. I didn't think cats liked jam. No, but they're quite fond of caviar. <laughs> mention it to your father he was saving that um, um i think i finally arrived so you have hello uh, no no you don't understand what is the biggest social event of the year um palace garden party uh -huh. ascot uh -huh. the hampton wick young conservatives oh, christmas yeah. dinner dance oh, silly of me and guess who's been invited to make the speech welcoming the mayor you have? Mm -hmm. I thought you looked like a cat with cream. <laughs> or caviar. Uh, yes, well, you better know what it's up to, Tristram. That's a bit short notice, isn't it, Saturday? Well, Mrs Clifton White had to drop out at the last moment. Her Pekingese got the sniffles. Now, you'll have to decide what you're going to wear. Nothing. Look, and Jeffrey, I... I won't be there. You know I'm spending the weekend with Mother. But that was before. Look, the main speaker is supposed to take the floor first. I can't go out there and dance by myself. And I can't let Mother down. You'll just have to find somebody else to go with. Look, and I think that you... <coughs> what did he mean, caviar? <laughs> you never show me any respect, do you, Mildred? You treat me like a kid. Well, of course I respect you, George. Here you are. Use the handle and don't dribble. <laughs> Other women, they respect their husbands. So do I. Yeah, well, it's easily said. No, it's true. I respect other women's husbands. <laughs> yeah, yes, but we quite understand you. Yeah. Uh, warmest regards to Michael. Well, any luck? No, Penelope's all fixed up. She's going with that fat buffoon of a husband. <laughs> well, that's the last one on my list. Then you'll just have to go on your own, Geoffrey. Well, that'll make 13 at the top table. Look. And no, darling. No, Geoffrey, I'm sorry. You know, Mother's been looking forward to seeing the children. Well, she can see them some other time. Go and visit the old bat after Christmas. <laughs> old bat? A yeah, slip of the tongue. Uh, Excuse me, anybody at home? Oh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, no, come in, Mildred. How would you feel if your husband called your mother an old bat? 
Did he? I'll deal with him later. <laughs> uh, I just popped in, dear, because I forgot to get your keys. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, lucky you did, actually. Yeah. Because Geoffrey's got a problem. Uh, Anne, I don't think... Uh, you see, there's this dinner dance on Saturday and he can't find anyone to go with him. Oh, we do... You wouldn't be free by any chance, would you? I know it's a lot to ask. Oh, I'd be delighted. <laughs> oh. Thank you ever so much, Mr. Formal. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps I ought to buy something new. Yeah, that's another thing. It means dressing up. I've only got the one suit. You'll make me stand with my hand over the frayed bit all evening. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right, George. I mean, you'll be much better off staying at home. Mm. Put your feet up. Watch the telly. All right, it's understood. I'm not going. Understood. Of course, I mean, if it's important to you and you want me to come... No, I don't. Eh? <laughs> I haven't even got you a ticket. I'm going with Mr Formile. <laughs> well, it's because of him I had to have the ball taken down. I mean, it's bad for business when customers keep finding darts in the bottom of their Guinness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, I don't know what it is about him that gets my back up. I think it's his habit of... Afternoon butting in on private conversations. Sir, ah, you must have seen me coming. Tell up. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm still here. Come on, let's have one in the snug. On the house. Good idea. <laughs> oh, afternoon. I don't know if you remember me. I spilt beer on your poodle. <laughs> yeah, he was a nice little fella. <laughs> Uh, Roper, George Roper's the name. You don't mind if I talk to you, do you? I was... <laughs> Cheer up, it may never happen. Oh. <laughs> are you are you talking to me? Yes, if you'd rather be alone. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, you're new here, aren't you? You haven't heard about me. I'm just here temporary. The regular barmaid's down with flu. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, well, no. <laughs> it's, it's a nice pub here, isn't it? Yes, yes, very nice. Though, um, between you and me, some of the customers, they're a bit, um, bit standoffish, you know, a bit... <laughs> Toffee-nosed. <laughs> yeah, you've a way with words, you have. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd buy something tasteful. I didn't want Mr. Formile to be ashamed of me. <laughs> it's lovely, Mildred. Yeah. Uh, you don't think there are too many sequins? No, not really. <laughs> the lady in the shop said it was absolutely me. <laughs> of course, it means I can't wear my mauve stole with it. <laughs> not with red. No, no, right. Uh, How did uh, Mr. Roper react when you told him? He doesn't mind you going with Geoffrey. What, George? Yeah, he was livid. But who cares? I mean, he, he's such a misery, Anne. I mean, but he's never got anything to say for himself. And a double top was needed, you see, just to win the game. Well, a sort of hush fell over the bar as I took my aim, see? And everyone moved well back. Well, so as not to distract me. Come on. <laughs> Quick flick of the wrist, and there it was. A double top? Uh, well, no, no, no. <clears throat> it would have been, only this aeroplane went over. <laughs> Some people have got no thought for others. Never did like that woman's hat anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have a brown ale, please. Oh, what about you? Oh, a brown ale would be nice. Thank you, Mr. Rowe. Oh, please, uh, uh, George. Oh. <laughs> My name's Beryl. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a nice name. Yeah. I knew a Beryl once during the Blitz. <laughs> she had her leg blown off. <laughs> Still, these things are sent to try us. Yeah, yeah. Bill, those were the good old days, weren't they? when people needed each other you know people who need people they're the luckiest people in the world you know you're quite a philosopher it's nice to talk to somebody intellectual <laughs> i mean me budgie and me goldfish well they're good company but it's not the same uh, uh, you um you live on your own do you i'm a widow oh really oh that's a coincidence <laughs> so am i <laughs>
afternoon. Uh, oh, you're back. You must be a mind reader. That's just what I was going to say. I have a brown nail. Is she not here anymore then? They're all the other lady. No, just as well too. From what I hear, she spent half her time chatting with some bit of rough. <coughs> <laughs> Damn miracle drugs. There was a time when flu used to hang on for weeks. <laughs> George, I was hoping you might come in. Well, 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 well. Uh, uh, I thought we weren't going to have any more of our little chats. Her uh, crisp. Oh, you spoil me. <laughs> I was afraid you might find our little chats boring. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's me people find boring. Never. Yeah. I know it's hard to believe, but even my wife doesn't understand. Oh, never understood me. <laughs> Same with my husband. But I never knew him. I mean, he was a good man, of course, but um, he only had one thing on his mind, you know. It. <laughs> what do you mean, doing things? I'm not against it. In moderation. No, oh, no. It can be overdone. Because I think companionship is more important. <laughs> oh, I agree. Mm. Um, Errol, um, I don't know if you're doing anything this evening. No, why? Well, um... I wonder if you'd like to come round my place and have a look at my scrapbooks. <laughs> That'd be fascinating. Really? Oh, good. Mm. Well, shall we say nine o'clock? Oh. Give me time to see if the coast is clear. Oh, uh, the room is clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, clean. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, have a crisp. No, I'm all right. I've got this one. <laughs> you wouldn't enjoy it anyway, George. Oh, my God, don't you worry about me. You go off to the ball. Leave me here among the ashes. <laughs> look, George, if they serve jelly, I'll bring you some back. You'll like that. <laughs> You're not getting round me with a doggy bag full of jelly. George, it's just, I don't like to see you sitting here looking so miserable. I mean, I know that you've had... Oh, that'll be Mr. Four Mile. Ha-ha, <laughs> right on time. Couldn't be better. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Four Mile. Come on in. There we are. I just get my bag. I meant to get a new one. <laughs> Don't worry, the, uh, the old bag will be fine. <laughs> I'm sure she will be, but what about me? George, have you heard from Anne and the children? Oh, uh, yes, yes, they got there all right. Um, Tarquin was sick over his granny. Oh. <laughs> Excellent judgment in one so young. <laughs> well, uh, uh, George, we have, you better be going, I think. Uh, George, are you going to be all right on your own? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there you are. Now, if you get lonely... Pop next door. Talk to the cat. I'll uh, try and have her back before midnight. Well, oh, yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. When the clock strikes 12, her makeup falls to pieces. Did I do the right thing as we were coming in? I mean, is it overdoing it to curtsy? A little, yes. <laughs> he was only the doorman. Uh, can I get you a drink? Uh, yes, please. Uh, I'd like a Campari and peppermint. <laughs> yes. Uh, very Luton Airport. <laughs> uh, I don't think... Really... Penelope, hello. Jeffrey. Well, 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 where's Michael? Oh, he's stuck in the Straits of Gibraltar. Yeah, I always said he should lose a little weight. <laughs> <laughs> Rough weather, he says, but I think he wanted to get out of coming tonight. He uh, didn't quite fit in last year. Well, they have widened the doors since then. <laughs> so you're uh, on your own, are you? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, um, could I have a Campari and... Uh, oh, I'll have a white wine. Thank you. Well, I wish you'd let me know. We could have come together instead of... Uh, did it... Oh, uh, uh, this is um, Mrs. Roper. Uh, this is the Honourable Mrs. Penelope Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Hello. Oh. How do you do? Soft lights, brown ale. <laughs> Almost forgot the pickled onions. <laughs> what Michael needs is more exercise. 
I'm trying to persuade him to take up horse riding. Well, let's hope the RSPCA doesn't get to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> Geoffrey, you're a beast. Do you ride at all, Mrs. Roper? Um, only buses. <laughs> yes, sir. Your glass appears to be empty, Penelope. Let me get you another drink. Thank you. And Mrs. Roper? Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, I hate to mention this, but, um, there's a price ticket hanging down the back of your dress. <laughs> what? <laughs> I must say, it's, uh, it's uh, very reasonable. Here we are, then. Penelope, Mrs. Roper. Well, uh, we should be going in in a minute. Uh, we're sitting at the same table. We can have a nice long chat about... Uh... Ah! Oh, sh sugar. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Uh, my, my dress, Mr. Formal. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take it off. Well, I don't think... Oh, no, 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 no. At home. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave. I do hope it won't spoil your envy for you. Not at all. I, I, I suppose I ought to drive you home. Oh, no, no, no. I'll get a taxi. Be a nice surprise for George. <laughs> Near accident as Royal Car swerves to avoid reckless motorcyclists. <laughs> I'm a show of that one. <laughs> Five to nine. George! Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm home. Oh, I couldn't bear the thought of you sitting here all on your own, you know. Why are you in the dark? Oh, uh, eye strain. Uh, <laughs> what, what about Mr Formar and the young Tory twits? You can't let them down. Uh, I don't think they'll miss me, George. Huh? No. My place is here, with you. Oh, yeah, hi. Right. Oh, gold. Uh, George, <laughs> will you unzip me? What? I want to get my dress off. <laughs> Where are you going? Out for a walk. Oh, George, I've only spilled wine on my dress. I mean, it wasn't... I didn't mean to... We would... Oh. <laughs> ah. oh, oh, hello, Beryl. Hello, George. Oh, didn't mean to frighten you. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. That's, that's, that's the place. Well, I could have sworn you said number 46. Well, uh, well, no, 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 no. Definitely number 48. Yeah, that's oh. Mr. Formar. Oh, I mean, Mr. Roper. Oh. <laughs> that's me. Mm. Right, well, after you. Oh, right. Uh, that's it. Uh, come, come inside. There they are. Uh, excuse the mess. Oh, oh, what a lovely house. Oh, everything's in such beautiful taste. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this then? What? Oh, uh, oh, it's uh, it, it's the milkman and his family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he gave it to me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I do sit down. Oh, thank you. Yes, I was. Uh, I was just going to say that I thought, oh, 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 knitting. What? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, well, it's, uh, it's a sort of hobby of mine, you know. Oh. <laughs> when it passes the time, don't it? Oh, oh good. <laughs> I see you're a man of hidden talents. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see your scrapbooks. Yeah. Oh, scrapbook, yeah. Uh, 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 just hang on there a minute, oh, will you? Yeah. <laughs> George, I thought you were going for a walk. Well, oh, yeah, I am. Uh, I just thought I'd take my scrapbooks, give me something to read while I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, George. Ah, here we are. You never told me you had a cat. What's her name? Uh, Fido. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, what would you like to drink? Oh, uh, a brown ale, please. Brown ale, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got... What's that? <laughs> Just checking me toy cupboard. <laughs> Stupid place, isn't it? <laughs> oh, um, ah, here we are. Right, uh, Couvoisier. <laughs> Dub on it. <laughs> Just hang on a minute, will you? <laughs> Oh, uh, just uh, come for the brown ale. I thought I'd have a little drink while I'm having a little walk. Uh, George! George, I want to talk to you. Right, you go ahead. I'll come back later. George! <laughs> Sit down. Yeah, but listen, Mildred, I'll... Sit! Uh, please. George, this, um... This isn't very easy for me. Oh, well, perhaps another time. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> 
I haven't been a very good wife to you, have I? No, no, don't argue. I wasn't. <laughs> well, you know, when two people have been married for 26 years, well, they, they, you know, they take each other for granted. They, they forget the little things that make up a marriage. Little things? Mm. Well, like, re respect. I haven't shown you a lot of respect, have I, George? I mean, I, I've, I've tried, but not hard enough. Mildred, what's all this leading up to? Well, it's just that, George, you and I are together, right? We've got the whole evening stretching ahead, and I want you to do something. Do something? <laughs> Show me your scrapbooks. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, there you are, George. I was wondering where you'd got to. <laughs> I like your photo. You never told me you won prizes. Oh, oh yeah, the knobbly knees competition. <laughs> <laughs> Beryl, um, there's something I've got to say. Yes? Well, um, you know what I said the other day in the pub? I'm afraid I lied. You mean you did it, the double top? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, um, I I'm not a widow. I'm still married. Oh. Well, I don't know why I said it. Somehow I didn't feel married when I was talking to you. And now you do? Yeah. Well, marriage, it's... It's like dandruff, isn't it? <laughs> you can brush it aside, pretend it isn't there, but it still comes back. <laughs> well, I'm glad you told me, George. Before things went too far. Yeah. Your marriage. Is it a happy one? Not often. <laughs> but sometimes, and that's all you can expect, isn't it? But still, there's no reason why we shouldn't still be friends. Oh, no. No, of course we can be friends. <laughs> but um, if you don't mind, I uh, I think I'll be going now, George. Me, oh. um, me budgie and me goldfish. <laughs> They'll be waiting. Well, uh, I'll see you around then, Bill. Yeah. Oh. Bye bye. Bye, George. <coughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this one's interesting. Look, look at this. Look. Hampton Wick Flower Show. An unusual entry by George Roper. Oh, yeah. Turned out they didn't have a class for buying weed. <laughs> it's, it's fascinating, George, but uh, I think I'll read the rest tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, George. We've had our ups and our downs, haven't we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. More downs than ups. There you go. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, George. Mm. In spite of it all, and underneath it all, you know, I love you, George. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love you too, Beryl. 